In this video, we will have a look into Andrew Tate being a Jesuit, Masonic-controlled opposition. Recently he, quote-unquote, converted from Christianity to Islam. But it seems his so-called conversion is an agenda to lead people away from the truth, which are found in the scriptures. Andrew Tate, like any other controlled opposition, are mixing truths with errors. And we will go through both his truths, as well as his errors in this video. Let's begin. Let's start off with the truths that Andrew Tate presents about the worldly religion called Christianity. So when I look at Christianity in its current form, I don't think that they can be right in terms of their interpretation of, interpretation of God, because if they are correct, God would give them the strength to defend themselves. And they don't. Christianity doesn't mean anything anymore. If the Christian interpretation of God was correct, then God would be giving them the strength to resist, but they don't resist anything. I don't believe Christians have preserved a single thing in modern time. I know in America, there's this hard line Christians who believe that they're trying hard. They are still failing on a daily basis. And in most of the world, especially in Europe, Christianity is absolutely not really a joke. The thing that actually finally converted me was about three weeks ago. I'll send you the TikTok. It was the first drag queen Methodist preacher. Oh, geez, man. Yeah, but, but this is the point. If you're, if you, if you're tolerant of everything, yeah. then you stand for nothing. So once you say I'm a Christian, but I tolerate everything under the name of tolerance, well, then you no longer have any beliefs. Mm -hmm. So if you have no beliefs, then all of it is garbage. If you're the only way you can worship a God is if that God gives you instructions. And if those instructions are adhered to and respected by the followers. And also if the followers of this, of the, of the particular God, I'm not going to say names, stick up for and defend those beliefs and are prepared to be ridiculed or prepared to be stigmatized and to, like I said er earlier, a bottom line of, of society's violence to fight to defend those beliefs. If you have a belief system that nobody will fight to defend, then you don't have beliefs. Just like feminism. If nobody fights to defend it, it goes away. Like Christianity, if nobody stands up for the rules, it goes away. What he is saying about the Christian religion are correct, how that LGBTQ and gay marriages and so on are being accepted in the worldly churches. The majority of Christianity are to this date rejecting the rules and commandments of their own creator and are preaching that it is fine to continue living a sinful lifestyle, according to the world. Mm. What does Christian mean? Mm. Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go yeah. into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls are out on Saturday night drinking and mm. they turn up to church because their parents made them. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's no substance to the religion. Now we have Christianity as an idea, which has basically said, well, we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit. So instead, let's make it so easy to be a Christian that nobody has to put any effort in yeah. and then accept everybody no matter what. And hopefully we can keep the church doors open. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah, God yeah. to me. You know, yeah, yeah. God to me is, is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God yeah. to me has red lines. I can't respect Christians anymore. People walk around with t-shirts. Jesus is gay in, t in TVs. They're making fun of Christianity on TV. They're mocking your God in front of your face and Christians don't say a word. They don't say a word. They will take a, a, a preacher of whatever background which directly contradicts your holy book and put him in a church to teach to your children. I agree with him on these things. Christianity today are nothing like the early believers. It has been hijacked and destroyed by the Jesuit order since the 16th century where they created the Counter-Reformation to bring all back under the wings of the Roman Catholic Mother Church, and we are seeing the results today. So Andrew Tate are just confirming the destruction of Christianity which has been ongoing for many years. And now comes the errors mixed in with the truths, saying Islam is a better religion. I've been very respectful of Islam for a long time. Yeah, sure. I was born in a Christian country. I was raised as a Christian and I've always been very respectful of Islam and it's become more and more obvious to me and, and more and more pertinent that Islam is the last religion on the planet. Even talk about Islam. That's the yeah. reason I have so much respect for Islam as a whole because they have, the, yeah, I have so much respect for it because they have a baseline morality. We're here in Dubai. You could walk outside and find a poor construction worker who just moved here, who's earning, I don't know, no money you know, can barely afford to eat and offer him a million dollars to denounce the prophet, he won't do it. No way. He'll never no do chance. it. He'll never do it. No Whereas chance. in the West, if you were to go and find a Christian. One dollar. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. I found an earlier video clip with Andrew Tate where he contradicts himself 
as in this video he is saying he supported Tommy Robinson for protecting England from Islamization. You look at Tommy Robinson, Tommy Robinson is doing his very best to protect England from Islamization, and he's hated. He, his life is ruined. So how can you support someone against Islamization and have great respect for its religion at the same time? The literal name Islam comes like Salam, it means peace. Yeah. But they'll try to put these labels on it because, you know, they don't, they don't like Islam. Yeah, they, they don't like anything they can't completely and utterly control. Yeah, and, and Muslims are uncontrollable. Well, yeah, they, they have a higher agree. purpose and a higher calling. I do think a lot of the world's problems, especially in the West, with the absolute degeneracy and the work of, what do you say, shaitan? Shaitan, yeah. The work of shaitan. <laughs> shaitan. It could be fixed with Islam. Honestly, I, I, yeah. I call for the Islamification of all Western countries. There's only one religion left on the planet. That's Islam. That's that only leaves one religion left in which you can install. Degeneracy will disappear. Yeah. Crime will disappear. Mm -hmm. Men and women will stay families again. People will have children. And People all the world's problems will be fixed. They'll chase their goals. Absolutely. I call for the Islamification of the entire Western world because otherwise we have atheistic countries. And when you remove religion, now what do you have? People are now adhering to woke ideology and this new insane religion. Everybody has a religion. If you remove Christianity from the West, you don't have atheists. You now have these people ad adhering to this woke new world liberal psychopathy where people are doing absolutely insane and disgusting things to each other and children. And they're sitting there saying that that's progressive somehow. And it's absolutely not really disgusting. So yeah. if we need a God to believe in, to preserve morality and decency amongst humanity, then let's have a God that people actually fear and respect. And that's why Islam is the only religion left on the planet. There's no other religion you can possibly name that even matters. Mm -hmm. Let's just hear one more time how he before supported Tommy Robinson against Islamization. You look at Tommy Robinson, Tommy Robinson is doing his very best to protect England from Islamization. I, I, I call for the Islamification of all Western countries. So this contradiction is pretty remarkable, which led me to believe that this so-called conversion into Islam is just an act. It does not seem that Andrew Tate is seeking God, but it seems more like he sees himself as a God or some kind of chosen prophet. I am actually fulfilled with divine purpose. I'm one of God's favorites. He also says in a video clip that his father was a CIA agent. I have not been able to confirm this, so it could be a lie. Father, when he died, someone messaged me who was in, because my father was in the CIA. He held the, the CIA record for the fastest assimilation of a foreign language. If it is true, the conversion act from Christianity to Islam, which he claims it's the only true religion, makes sense according to another video I made some time ago, where the ex-Jesuit priest Alberto Rivera exposed how the Vatican created Islam. And how this just ties in with the Jesuits' counter-reformation and their one-world religion. Let's also take a look at Andrew Tate's Twitter profile. Here we can see how he claims that he is absolute complete and perfect, being the last hope for humanity, and that he will save the whole world. You also see how Andrew Tate retweets posts his followers are tweeting, where they write that he heals by talking and conquers wherever he walks, being a path for the lost. Or how about this retweet, where one of his followers are calling him, their Lord and Savior, and a God who saved their life from the globalists' matrix. Here is another one, where a follower is calling him a God. It seems that Andrew Tate likes being called a God, and Savior of his followers, since he is retweeting these posts. So it is clear that Andrew Tate is not seeking God, but only playing this act for his own narcissistic tendencies. Andrew Tate's videos and podcasts are all about how to get around the globalists' matrix to become free. But his Twitter are telling a completely other thing. How about these tweets where he calls himself Top G, and Elon Musk Top E, and Donald Trump, Top T, and Kanye West for Top K? All these people are part of the Jesuit, Masonic system, being controlled puppets to feed people with false hope and deceptions. Andrew Tate is also running a secret club called The War Room, where people need to pay him $5,000 to join his network for intel and for breaking free of the so-called Matrix. We saw before how Andrew Tate calls himself for Top G. Note the G, which in Freemasonry stands for their god, the Grand Architect. Andrew Tate is also telling us that his War Room Club is like Freemasonry and Illuminati. 
The War Room is a private network. That's the most I can say. Kind of imagine the Freemasons of old. It's kind of like the Illuminati, but cooler. I started the War Room to attract a conglomerate of superheroes. It's kind of like Avengers. We have over 2,000 members, over 600 millionaires, but you can get kicked at any moment without a refund.